we're here on a late May day. We are in McMenville, Oregon, and this town has transformed into a UFO festival. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna see what's going on, some food activities, and check out the UFO happenings. Here we go. I don't really know what the significance is, but as you can see, alien everything. Maybe I can get an alien magnet at the end of the day. Yeah. Ooh, the Roswell Connection. Mm-hmm. Yep, make sure you got your, your tin hat. Uh-huh. And what is this? Free water, really? Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Let's go inside. Up to the rooftop bar. So we're waiting for a table to see if we can get a table up here on the rooftop bar. The, there's going to be a parade down there on Main Street, I guess you'd call it. But right now, they're kind of busy. But they do have lots of outdoor seating. So we did get a seat up here on the balcony out here. I'm uh, not sure if I mentioned I'm hanging out with some uh, family here in the area. and They don't want to be on YouTube, so that, that's okay. I'm just, I'm just going to show you part of the uh, alien stuff here. But I got uh, a white wheat ale here. Mm -hmm. And it's scrumptious, and I ordered some food. I'll show you what that is later. I got the McMenamin's cheeseburger and tater tots, because I'm not a tater hater. <laughs> I got my magnet. There's, so the history of the UFO here in McMenville is that in 1950, a photographer took a picture of a UFO. I forgot the date, but yeah, anyway, 1950, and that's why we do all this every year. I think 20th anniversary, 20th annual, yeah. Put my new magnet up, Mr. Alien Head. He's cool. Say what now? Oh, the kitty kitty missed. You gonna flop? Oh, what a flop. Oh, what a flop. What a flop. What a flop, man. What a flop. Missed you too, buddy. Boy, did we get back just in time. During the parade, I don't know if you saw it started raining. No, we got a weather advisory for this stuff wind rain you can see all the leaves and everything blowing stuff around it cleared that street out quick i know i still haven't shown you what's in the passenger seat up here that's because of this weather that's, that's why yeah. having a little problem here with my slide luckily i'm here at a thousand trails that's going to let me stay here a little longer they're not too busy right now, plus it's raining. Got a couple extra days here. The slide, although it may look like centered, even. Um, I'll try to explain this. It looks like there's a rail here and there's a rail at that end. 
but there's only a motor at one end. Ironically, the motor's at this end. What's happening, for some reason, is that when I try to close the slide in, it brings that end in until it hits, and this end, it doesn't allow to hit. I'll show you what's going on right now. I'll bring this slide in. I've emptied that away, but I mean, it doesn't sound bad, right? It sounds normal. But when it thinks it's done here, I'll show you. Making a little bit of noise. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, it thinks it's done. Watch this. <coughs> that's uh, that's not that's not gonna work for me, guys. <laughs> that is a huge, huge gap. Okay, what in the heck has happened here? For whatever reason, the other side. Just fine. Perfect. This is the non-motor side. This is the side that won't close. Now, can I just point out, so obviously I wanted to try to figure this out on my own first. Apparently there are four different types of uh, slide mechanisms in RVs being made right now. Um, what I believe has happened is that for whatever reason, it's come off a few links here, but not down there. So there needs to be some kind of an adjustment made, right? Well, I can't find any YouTube videos on how to get to this. I gotta put the slide back out anyway. We ain't, we ain't going nowhere right now. We're kind of just parked. Not to say that this is not, not to say I can't drive with this out three inches but that cannot be safe and it's pouring down rain still. So no, I'm, I'm stuck here. It's also funny because this is the second of four things that I feared about this RV, okay? The automatic steps, the automatic slides, the other one's still fine, the automatic awning and the automatic levelers. Those four things were already on problem 204 from new systems so again, I'll let you hear the uh, sounds it's made. I don't really like that. Hmm. All right, now it's out. Um, so yeah, tell me, how in the heck do we get at anything underneath here? Knowing this is a floor and there's actually steel underneath, none of this comes off there's no screws or anything there there is absolutely no access to the motor from here right no screws no way unless you just start completely tearing this apart absolutely not one screw i even got my magnet out there is no screw heads anywhere to remove anything to get underneath there then on the outside and again i feel like it almost it just it seems normal when it's out it just won't go back in Right, so I got these tracks with holes. Uh, what it, so I'm guessing, I'm assuming I have the type of gear on the bottom in here that has things like this that are constantly curving. And that's what brings this in and out. There's another rail down there. But there's absolutely no access. I mean, I have less than two inches here and there's just nothing. There's no way to get in there. So I'm a little baffled here. I do feel like maybe I could get a better look at this if I could see it, but there's no way into the components right now. So what would you do in this situation, guys? I called a mobile mechanic. It's gonna come out to this Encore Park uh, here in Oregon. Uh, he's gonna come out tomorrow morning. He asked me to send him a couple pictures. He's gonna come out and he's gonna He's gonna dig into this. He apparently knows these systems and I have no idea what his hourly rate is or how much this repair is gonna cost, but hopefully this process will enable me to familiarize myself a little bit more with my slide and then also understand I'm gonna watch him in, you know, in case I, got, I do have another one on the other side that's bound to have the same problem later. Uh, but yeah, that, that's where I'm at. And yes, it's still raining. <laughs> well, anyway, I hate to leave you all in suspense, but I'm in the same suspense as you. I don't have a resolution. I usually like to have things fixed up. Uh, right now, I don't know. Um, 
he, yeah, I just don't know what the procedure is from here, or how we proceed, so, um, since it's still raining, we're just hanging out inside, getting ready to hang out with Jack's man. He's taking this really hard, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, so, I'm doing some editing, and then we're gonna hang out and watch some Netflix, so. I'll be back with you as soon as I possibly can with an update on this slide issue, guys. Hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.